For years, textbooks have been a teacher's primary source of educational material. However, they're heavy, static, one-dimensional, and expensive, costing up to $300 a year per student. Teachers have to work around their limitations to effectively reach students. We here at NetText would like to change that. The catalog of freely available educational material on the internet has expanded drastically over the past few years. The CK12 Foundation provides free online textbooks that can be edited and remixed by teachers easily. The Khan Academy has created over 3,400 engaging video lessons plus interactive assessments that students take online. Project Gutenberg and LibriVox.org offer free ebook and audio readings of classic out of copyright works. Of course, these resources are useless if they cannot be effectively delivered to students. The release of the iPad in 2010 brought a powerful yet portable content delivery vehicle with a long lasting battery, quick boot time, and an engaging multi touch screen. The iPad's multimedia capabilities allow students to view all types of open educational resources ebooks, PDFs, videos, audio, and slideshows. To help teachers gather content and deliver it to student iPads, we created the NetText iPad app and a content management website. Teachers create courses on the content management site, then students download and view the courses using the iPad app. Last year, NetText worked with six 8th grade classes totaling 260 students in Atlanta, Georgia. In this pilot program, schools replace all of their textbooks with iPads. NetText's research team scoured the web to find open educational resources to help teachers build courses. We also found educational third-party apps that make the iPad a highly versatile instructional tool. After finding these apps, we helped schools put them on students' iPads while removing non-educational apps so students are distraction-free. This is an example of a student's home screen. Each course subject has a folder with useful apps. No Angry Birds, no Netflix, just instructional material. On the dock at the bottom of the screen sits the NetText app where students download and view teacher-created courses. Upon opening the NetText app, we see all the courses that have already been downloaded to this iPad. To add a new course, tap Add a Course. This brings us to the Course Collections page. These collections include courses created by NetText to match common core standards, as well as material from universities such as MIT, Yale, and Stanford. To find the course their teacher created, students will use the search function. Students can search by subject, grade, teacher, or course name. We'll try searching for all Algebra 1 courses. Tap on any icon to view a preview of that course. On the course preview page, you can see a list of all the units in the course, as well as all of the individual items in each unit. You cannot view any items until you download the course. To download the course, tap Add This Course. While the course is downloading, Tap My Downloads to view the progress of the download. When the download finishes and the course is installed, tap My Courses. On this page, you can view any course you've downloaded. Let's start by viewing the Algebra 1 course. Here we have a list of all of the units in the course. Each unit has a description and a count of the number of items in that unit. Tap on any unit to view the items in that unit. Now we can view any item by tapping on it. We'll start with the goals and objectives, the first item in this unit. This item summarizes the skills that this unit covers. Tap back to return to the unit page. Next, we'll view the second item in this unit. This unit is a chapter from a CK12 flexbook containing instructional readings, pictures, and sets of practice problems, everything a normal textbook would contain. The next item is a slideshow on basic algebraic definitions. Students simply swipe in between slides, navigating the material quickly and intuitively. The next item in this unit is a video from the Khan Academy. Since the item has been downloaded to the iPad's local storage, you do not need an internet connection to view this video. This makes it very easy for students to watch the video at their own pace, rewinding and fast forwarding as they need to. However, not every type of instructional material can be downloaded. We found a way around this using an item type called a content item. 
This allows teachers to link out to websites with copyrighted material or interactive elements. Here is an example of a content item. This item links out to an interactive assessment on the Khan Academy website. Clicking on the link opens a web browser within the NetTex app. Since we are still in the app, students cannot enter a URL, keeping them from going to other sites. This keeps the student focused on the material. Another interactive item type is the test item. These tests are created by teachers using our content management system. Students view a PDF version of the test on the top half of the screen while answering questions on the bottom half. After the student submits the test, they receive a report showing which questions they got right, which they got wrong, their test score, and any feedback the teacher provides. Teachers receive a report with all the students' answers and scores, allowing for easy analysis. NetTex allows you to take notes on any course, unit, or item. Simply tap the Notes button to take a note on whatever you are viewing. Next, type your note using the iPad keyboard. When you are done, you can either close the note or share it using email. Type in the email address you want to send the note to, add a subject, and click Send. Another useful feature is creating calendar events. Any event you create will be added to the calendar on your iPad. Tap the Calendar button to create a new event. First, type in a description of the event, then select the date and time that the event occurs. You can also add an alert, a URL, or notes. When you are finished, tap Done to create the event. When a teacher updates a course with new material, students need to synchronize their courses on the iPad. Go to My Courses, then tap Manage Courses. Select the courses you would like to sync, then tap Sync Selected. New items will be downloaded, and items that are no longer in the course will be deleted. This will ensure that your courses are up to date. While iPads are a great way to view NetText content, we wanted to make things more accessible to everyone. NetText courses are now viewable from any web browser. We have posted our course collections page publicly for anyone to browse. Click on a course to view its content. Click on a unit to view a list of the items in that unit. Click on an item to open the item in the web browser. The only item type that you cannot view in the web browser is interactive tests. All other item types will work. You can also download items so that you can view them later without using an internet connection. Now that we've seen how the content is viewed on the iPad and web browser, let's see how it gets there. This is all done using our content management website. A teacher creates a course, fills that course with units, then fills those units with items. Teachers can add items in a couple ways. First, you can search for items already in the NetText database. You can search by item type, subject, grade level, or a keyword, which searches an item's title, description, and tags. When you view an item's item page, you can add the item to the list of your favorite items. When you go to the Edit Unit page, you can add the item from your favorites list to the unit. The other way to add an item is to create a new item. On this page, teachers can upload materials they made themselves or open educational resources they found on the internet. We include space for copyright information so that teachers can properly cite the Creative Commons or Public Domain license that makes the material available to share. NetText makes it easy for teachers to start creating courses quickly by allowing teachers to copy units. Since this unit was not created by my account, I cannot edit it. Instead, I can copy the unit, which creates a new unit with all of the same items that is under my account so I can edit it. Now I am able to remove items I don't want in my unit and add new items. This feature allows teachers to repurpose pre-existing material while customizing the units to their own needs. When I am done editing the unit, I can add it to a course. This is done on the Edit Course page. Once a course has been updated, the changes are ready to be synced with the course on the student iPads. This means that teachers can constantly update their courses as the class moves forward. NetText for iPad is available for free in the App Store, and you can create a free account for our content management website by going to net-text.com. For the full experience, NetText Consulting contracts with schools to offer on-site training on how to use the iPad, the NetText app, and our content management system. 
we will help your school set up your iPads using a Bradford card or another mobile device management solution. NetText researchers help schools find the best open educational resources and create prepackaged courses that follow state and common core standards. This gives teachers a head start in building courses. NetText is here to leverage the growing pool of open educational resources along with the fantastic material teachers create to provide a flexible platform for content management and delivery. Our pilot program in Atlanta resulted in more engaged, excited, and organized students. Many schools have expanded their programs, and NetText is now working with over 40 schools in six states. To learn more, contact us at info at net-text.com or visit our website.